Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I am here with Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Playoffs Round 1 between the Minnesota North Stars of 1990-91 and the Chicago Blackhawks of 1990-91. We are back in Chicago. Chicago is losing three games to one, so if we win this game, we go on to the next round against St. Louis, which is good or bad, depending on how you look at it. Going to the second round, good. Playing St. Louis, bad. But we have to eliminate the Blackhawks first before we can even discuss the possibility of um, playing St. Louis. So, and I'm going to turn down the sound here. So, let's get on with it. And let me pull my face over to here. This would be a nice place for my face. There you see Eddie Bell for in the net. You know what? We have Brian Hayward, but I'm going to go with that. I'm going to give uh going to give Casey a night off. Probably not a great idea. If we need him, we will go get him, but um and if we get destroyed here, we get destroyed here, but we'll still be up 3 games to 2. So, I am going to go with that and let's see what happens. They, however, have their starting guy, their big guy in the net. Of course, they have to because this is an elimination game for them. But we'll see what happens with us. And there's a breakaway for Rennick, Jeremy Rennick. And that's already a goal. So, all right, they're already killing us. All right, they're not killing us. It's one nothing, but probably not the best thing you want to do. Not the greatest situation. So, that was Rennick from Larmer and Chelios. Maybe a long game. And I want to also point out that if this does become a rout because of Mr. Hayward in the net. I will be um, editing, at the very least, editing the video so that we are skipping ahead in the action and you don't have to sit through a grueling hour of um, terrible play. So I will try to intimidate here. Um, looks like there's going to be no penalty, but uh, what happened? Oh, yeah, we took the puck. It looks like we took the puck away from Larmer. And now Prop has it. So, very good. Very good. But now Thomas is in front of Hayward with a shot. Goalie rating, seven. That's going to be another goal. All right. Are you feeling that it was probably a bad idea to play Hayward this game? Oh, well. Try to play a little bit of reality, although I do know in the Stanley Cup playoffs, they usually always go with their, um, with their starting goalies. You rarely ever see the backup goalie. But I decided to do that. So we have a face-off at center ice down 2 nothing, On two shots, I might add. So, not good. Not good at all. And now Prop has the puck. Tenorti with a breakaway, though. Let's see what he can do. Uh, he's going to lose it to the left wing for Chicago. This is no Brian Hayward that we're going up against.
And another thing is that I am going to make sure that Hayward stays in so that we definitely give um, the rest to Casey that he may otherwise need. McKegney with a rebound shot. And that's another goal. Okay, this is really not going well at all. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! It isn't. Yeah, it was a howitzer, or was it? I mean, we don't know. McKegney from Mawson. Or Manson. So, uh, this will be an interesting game. Brian Glenn has the puck. And, uh, yes, I am going to try to intimidate. Smith lining him up, but it doesn't work, and Manson has an inside shot. That's going to be, thankfully, a save, and the defensive center will get the puck. So they now have three goals on five shots instead of a goal on every single shot that they've taken. And there's a penalty, and it's going to be on them. Yes, Troy Murray going to the box, so let's see if we can capitalize on this. Try to work our way back into the game. And we have it, Brian Bellows with the puck. Madonna with an outside shot. And that's a nine, that's gonna be a lose to the defensive center which they do not have, I don't think. So what's going on here? We have Brian Bellows with an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. Uh, it doesn't work. Doesn't look like it worked. Inside shot for left wing. So Madonna. All right, so Madonna will have an inside shot. Goalie rating five is saving forward. <sighs> All right, Roenick has it for Chicago. 15.52 left in the first period, and we're losing 3 nothing already. Uh, we uh, will give it to Gagne for the shot, I guess. That sounds good to me. Uh, Gagne has an outside shot. We'll try to penetrate with the man advantage and it works. And now Gagne has an inside shot on Bell for five. That's gonna be a lose to the defensive left defenseman for Chicago. And that's gonna be Doug Wilson. So Doug Wilson now has possession of the puck. Um, let's see, they skated successfully. They turned it over. Nope, they didn't. I mean, maybe we did. But anyway, Dirk Graham has it now. And he failed to skate. So that means we're probably going to get back. We will get it back and... Brian Bellows for the shot. I like that. Let's go with it. I'm going to try to penetrate with Bellows. And he did make it inside with the man advantage. So Bellows will have an inside shot. 14-22 left. And that's a rebound. And the defensive left defenseman gets the puck. So they, uh, Trent. What is it, Trent Yanni? Uh, yeah, I will try to intimidate. And no, Ronick has an inside shot. 
Goalie rating two, that's going to be saved by their defenseman. So we will give it to, uh, well, that's a bad choice right there between Wilkinson and Dahlquist. So I'll give it to Wilkinson. So Wilkinson has the puck. And he loses the puck and there's going to be an inside shot intimidation possibility for the right wing and at 85 percent i will try it larmer is smacked down so we knocked him off the puck and so wilkinson has it back with 1247 left in the first period with the stars the north stars down three nothing and uh, mcgill has the puck for chicago And Thomas has a breakaway. Steve Thomas with a breakaway on Hayward. You don't want to see that ever. But there's a save, and the right wing comes along with it for the uh, for us, for the uh, North Stars. So Doug Smale now has the puck. We're being outshot 7-4 to four and outscored 3 nothing. So not a good time. Not a good time in the big house, but we got Bobby Smith on with an inside shot. Goalie rating eight. Goal. All right. So it's three to one. We've cut the deficit to two goals in the first period. So that's doable. And it's going back out to center ice for the faceoff with 1138 left in the first. And Doug Smale with the puck. And with the end, we got a little back and forth here. Penalty on who? Penalty on Chelios. Love it. All right, we're going to have a two-man, two-minute man advantage. Up, uh, losing three to one with 11.02 left in the first. So it would be nice if we could score on this, and then we would really be right back in this game. Tenorti with an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate with him, and he did penetrate. So Tenorti on an inside shot. Seven is uh, lose to the left defenseman. So uh, Yanni now has the puck for Chicago. See what happens there. So now Steve Larmer has the puck for Chicago. And he failed to skate, so we should get possession back. Um, Brian Prop, I'm going to select him. Yes, that's a good, good pick, right? I'm going to try to, you know, I'm going to pass with him. Inside shot for right wing. And that's going to be Dolan, all Dolan with an inside shot. And he's going to lose to the right wing. So Larmer has the puck back for Chicago. 10.06 left in the first period. We're down 3-1. He couldn't skate with the puck. So we will get it back again. Uh, let's see. Dolan. Yeah, let's give it to Dolan. See maybe if we can pass with him. Or even try to work it inside with him. Yeah, I'm going to try to pass. Inside shot for right wing. And that's going to be Smith. And no, they got it back. They 
They intimidated him, took him off the puck. Dang. Dang, nabbit. All right, so Yanni has the puck for Chicago. And Smith has another inside shot for Bobby Smith, but he's going to lose. He's going to going to be a save in the defensive center for Chicago will come up with it, which they don't have because of the penalty, I think. But anyway, yes. So prop, I'm going to try to penetrate with prop. Dang, he couldn't get inside. Man. All right, so Steve Larmer has the puck. And there is still two minutes left in the penalty to Chelios. That must have been uh, one hell of a penalty. And they do successfully skate with it. Eight oh seven left in the first period. Um, yeah, Tenorti. That's I guess that's good. And Tenorti with an inside shot. Come on, Tenorti. No, it's a save, and the right defenseman for Chicago will come up with the puck off the save. who right now is Manson, and he successfully skates with the puck. Forty-one seconds left on the penalty to Chelios. He successfully skates with it again. And it looks like we're going to get out of this penalty for Chicago without a goal. And only a couple of shots on goal. Doug Wilson has the puck, 6.30 left. We're back at even strength. Still down 3-1, to one, so we're looking for, you know, well, we need to keep the puck away from Hayward, for one. Mike Craig, that's a, I guess that's a good, you know. Craig with an inside shot, and that's going to be a save defensive center. So Murray picks up the puck for Chicago. There's only 5.57 left. And uh, the right wing tried to penetrate inside on our defense, and he did not do it. So that was Lemieux trying to get inside, and it didn't work for them. So now Bellows has the puck. All right, Neil Broughton. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good. There we go, Neil Broughton with the outside shot. Six is a goalie rating. Ten is a face-off. There's going to be a face-off to the left of Ed Belfour with 522 left in the first. And the North Stars losing to Chicago here in game five by the score of three to one. And Oak Dolan comes away with the puck. Got to love that. Um, I'm going to try to penetrate with him. Doesn't work. So Chicago will have possession of the puck. And that's in the person of Michelle Goulet. So let's see what we can do here. Brian Bello with uh, possession, possible breakaway, penalty, possible penalty, penalty two, that's not going to happen. So Bellows takes the hard hit and will probably lose the puck. And yeah, Dirk Graham has it now. We're being outshot nine to seven and outscored on the scoreboard three to one with 411 left in the first period. I want to say Hayward has settled down since uh, allowing three 
straight goals pretty much, but he hasn't because we just have kept the puck away from him, which is what we got to do. So uh, Belfour makes a save there on the shot by Madano, and the right defenseman for Chicago has the puck, and that's McGill at the moment. And Wilkinson steals the puck with a possible breakaway, but he ain't going to get a breakaway. Now, they got the puck, and that's McGill with it for Chicago. And McKegney can't hand. Whoa, Doug Schmale. All right. Schmale inside. He gets a rebound. Let's see what we can do on the rebound. No, no, no. Left wing gets it. McKegney. So we can't do anything on the rebound because we didn't get it. And Bobby Smith with an inside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the left defenseman will get it. Belfour playing his usual good game in net. So Conroy has it for Chicago. We're down 3-1, to one, minute 56. We're inside of two minutes here in the first period. And uh, Berezan will have the puck. And they have they take the puck away and they have an outside shot with Troy Murray. And that's going to be a save right wing. So Hayward, again, I hesitate to say he settled down. We've just pretty much kept the, sh the shots away from him. And when we have uh, allowed shots, they've been outside shots since he has allowed three in a row. But now Larmer has an inside shot on him. And that's going to be another save. Left wing comes up with it. So, I mean, Hayward right now, he's holding us in this game. Ten seconds left in the first period. The final seconds ticking away. Outside shot for Larmer. And that's going to be a save. And the right defenseman for us will come away. And that may be the last play of the first period. And it is. So we're starting the second period. We're down three to one. That's still not really insurmountable just yet. So if Hayward can maintain some semblance of decent play for a little while longer, maybe we can even get closer for him. Steve Conroy of Chicago comes up with the puck. And Ronick now has the puck for Chicago, 1907, left in the second. So we gotta we gotta put something together here. We gotta figure out some kind of way to break the uh, the Bell Four brick wall. And Chelios has the puck for Chicago. We really need them to keep spending a lot of time in the penalty box, which has been their bugaboo in this series. Tenorti has the puck for us, and there's going to be a penalty, and it's probably going to be on them. Yeah, probably going to be on Chelios, right? No, it's on us? Uh, I'll go with Jim Johnson for the serve the penalty. So we are shorthanded ourselves now for two minutes as Johnson is in the box. Broughton with the puck. Uh, player for the shot. Hmm. I guess we'll give it to, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it to Barazan. I mean, he's really only the only choice out there. Um, 
and he's bad at everything, so we're just going to let him shoot. From the outside, and as you recall, in game one, he had a goal from the outside. So that's a save. Belfour makes a save, and their left defenseman comes away with it, and that's Doug Wilson at the moment. And Dave Manson with an outside shot. That's going to be lose any player. My choice, let's put it across. Let's give it to Nordy because he's across from an A penalty. And Tenorti with the puck. Also a good skater, I would assume. But he loses the puck to Dave Manson. And now Manson has the puck. 15.31 left in the second period. Only down 3-1. to one. That's not, you know, that's not insurmountable. I will try intimidation, and uh, Smale can't handle him, so it's going to be an inside shot for McKegney, who's already scored this game, and won't score there. I can give it to either defenseman. I will give it to Glenn because he's across from an A. And we have successfully fought off the penalty. I will try to intimidate, and he's unsuccessful, and Manson has an inside shot on Hayward. That's going to be lose to the defensive center. So our center will come away with it. So it looks like it, it looks like Hayward has settled down, which is good. I will try to intimidate at 60% for sure. And we do get the puck back, and so now Mike Craig has it. But they take it away, and they have an outside shot with Gilbert. And that will be, what, a rebound? And we get it. Wilkinson has it for us. So we have possession of the puck. Possible breakaway for Dahlquist, and he does get it. And he's going to have an inside shot with lose to any player. Come on. All right. So Steve Larmer with the puck. 12.40 left in the second period. And I am going to try to intimidate. Definitely have to with uh, Hayward in the net. And Yanni has an inside shot on him. That's an eight, and it's a rebound. And defensive right wing up a two, which I would hope he is, but he isn't. So Michelle Goulet has a rebound shot. That's going to be goalie rating and a goal. So now they're ahead four to one. Not good. And that was Goulet from Yanni and Larmer, if you're scoring at home. And I'm not going to skip ahead in the game, in the video, as you've seen in the past that I've done where I've skipped ahead, because the computer may actually put in whoever the second stringer is, and the second stringer I would expect is probably Casey. So for this game, and I don't want Casey to play. I want him to be well rested for um, potentially uh, game six, which he may have to be now, which it looks like there might be. And Steve Thomas has an inside shot, and he will, there's a save, and the right defenseman comes up with it. So 11.39 left in the second period. Madonna gets behind everybody. Let's see if he can score. He can. So that's going to be a save by Belfour, and they will give the puck to McKegney. Coming off that save, 
and we're approaching the halfway point of the second period and hence the halfway point of the game. All right, I can give uh, a player, oh, any player for the shot. I'm going to go with Bobby Smith. Hell yeah. Bobby Smith. Oh, there was a crushing hit on him. So now Gillis has the puck. We're only being outshot 15-14. Unfortunately, they've scored on four of those 15 shots. And there's a penalty. Looks like. And that's going to be on Chelios. Yes. So we have a penalty. We've really got to get a score pretty, I mean, we definitely, I would say we have to get at least one goal here in the second period without allowing them any more and go into the third at least four to two. Um, Madonna with an outside shot. I'm going to, I'm going to pass with Madonna. All right. Inside shot for center. That's going to be Gagne. But that's going to be a save any player. So Ronick comes away with it. They do successfully skate with it. And so Ronick will try to skate with it again. And he does. Ten oh four left. Uh, successful skate again, three times in a row. And yet again, four times in a row. And five times in a row. And of course, you don't see this in real hockey, but I guess Stratomatic has to make it somehow that the other team can possibly hold on to it. Okay, so now they finally had a failed skate, so we should be taking the puck away and have a shot, although there's only a minute six left in the penalty to Chelios. Uh, Gagne, yeah, that's a good choice as any. I'm going to try to pass with him. Uh, Madonna, yeah, let's give it to Madonna. Madonna inside shot. That ain't going to be anything. That's a save in the defensive center, although they don't have one just yet because of the penalty. So, yes. So, Jim Johnson with an outside shot option. I'm going to try to pass with him, even though he's not the greatest passer, but it didn't work. Had to try it, though. Oh, wait, Brian Glenn has an outside shot. I'm going to try to pass with him. And that does work. Inside shot for center. But they took the puck away. Oh, no. Gagne has somehow he got the puck back, so now he's got an inside shot and goal. Yes, it's four to two. Don't count us out yet. Although we need a few more penalties apparently by the Blackhawks. That was by Gagne with an assist by Glenn and Bellows. So face off at center ice, penalty obviously over. Would have been probably anyway. Lemieux is going to have the puck off the face off. And that's going to be an outside shot only for the right wing. Our right wing, I believe. And that is Mike Craig. But that's going to be a save, and the defensive center will come away with the puck. So 
So we have a face off. Or Trent Murray, actually, or Troy Murray, Trent Murray, whatever his name is, has the puck. But Broughton takes the puck away. 7.02 left in the second. And Bellows has an inside shot. Goalie rating, seven save by their defenseman. So one of their defensemen will come up with the puck. That's Doug Wilson. Outside shot for center. Gagne with the puck. McGill has a breakaway, so there's going to be a breakaway shot from McGill. That's a six. It's going to be a save. Right wing comes up with it for us. 551 left in the second period. And now 516. And Gagne gets behind everybody and has an inside shot. Eight, rebound. Do we get it back? Any offensive player. All right, well, let's give it to uh, Madonna. See what he can do. Seven, that's a goalie rating. Nine, goal! And it's 4-3! Don't count us out, man. What are you crazy counting us out? So, you know, at some point I may actually consider going and getting Casey, but I want to be sure we have a really good chance of winning the game. So, like, if we go up by a goal at some point now or soon or in the third period, then I will bring in Casey. Bobby Smith has an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate. And he did get inside. Yes. Bobby Smith, inside shot. You got to like this. Eight, rebound. Let's hope we get it. All right. So I'm going to say, Bobby Smith, take your own little rebound shot. Nine, goalie rating. 12. Rebound. That's another rebound, though. Defensive right defenseman. If a three is not, Wilkinson has the rebound shot. Six? No. He loses it to the left wing. So that was all pretty exciting. And now we have a 23 to 16 shot lead, and we're only losing by a goal with 410 left in the second period. Plenty of time. Mike Craig with the puck for us. I mean, we have really been outplaying Chicago. It's been impressive. And Conroy will have an outside shot. That's an eight. It's a rebound. They're redirecting it with Murray. Goalie rating, goal. Damn. All right, now they're up 5-3. So face off at center ice, we're down, we're back down by two again, which is not the best situation at all. But, you know, I, I still think if we can be down only two going into the third, we got a shot. Conroy has the puck for Chicago. 3.07 left in the second. Uh, Jim Johnson with an outside shot. I'm just going to have him take it because he can't really pass very well and he wouldn't get inside. That's going to be lose to the left defenseman. So Conroy has the puck for Chicago again. 227 left. Second period. 
Now Ronick has an outside shot. That's going to be a save, and the left wing will come up with it for us. That's Bellows. And Johnson with an inside shot. Not the guy you want to see getting an inside shot, but, you know, you got to take what you can get. He loses it to the right defenseman, though. And that's Dave Manson right now, and there's a minute 14 left in the second period. Quickly closing in on only 20 minutes left in the game. Glenn with an outside shot. I'm going to shoot it. I'm just going to shoot it because he doesn't do anything else well. And that's going to be a lose to the defensive center. And that's going to be Adam Crichton. Prop looks like he has the puck. And there's going to be a penalty, probably on uh, Chicago. Graham. No, Prop inside, though. That's a save. But Dirk Graham, yeah, Graham has the, uh, is that a penalty? Yeah, all right. So face off to Belfour's left, and we have a, uh, we have two minutes on the power play. Let's see if we can work with it. 51 seconds, though, only are left in the second period. And Tenorti with an outside shot, I'm going to pass with him because somebody else would be better suited for the shot, but no, that doesn't happen. So they intercept the shot, and uh, or the pass, and now Trent Yanni has it for Chicago. Looks like that's how the second period may end at 5-3. Although we do have a shot, so I'll give it to Prop. They're suggesting Prop, and I'll take that. That's a good suggestion. And I'm going to pass with Prop, 72%. Inside shot for center. And that's Baba Smith. Gets a four, and that's going to be a save, and the defensive center comes up with the puck. Minnesota controlling. Bobby Smith with an outside shot. Let's penetrate with him. He did. I mean, we've gotten inside a lot. We just need to score here. Like, right here. Nine. Goalie rating. Eight. Goal! And it's 5-4. Nice. I love this. This is a good old-fashioned shootout at the old K Corral. You would think I would take Casey out, but I'm not going to. Might be a bad decision. Leave it in the comments if you think it's a bad decision. Maybe I should have brought Casey in right now, but we're still losing by a goal, and there's no guarantee we'll get another one. So, I mean, remember, we've won, like, all three of the games that we've won, we've won two to one. So... We, we, the scoring like this doesn't usually happen for us. So you would think it would be a tall order even to get a fifth goal. But but Dolan has an inside shot. Conroy can't take him off the puck. Nine. Goalie rating, ten. Face off. Ah! Dang. That could have... If, I, would have I would have gone and got Casey if that had been a goal. I can tell you right now. In fact, I am telling you right now, if we tie the game, I'll go get Casey. All right. Uh, Bellows has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with Bellows. And he did penetrate. So let's see if he can score on the inside shot. Eight, rebound. 
Offensive right wing up a two, you would have to hope he is. And that eight, he is. And it's Dolan. And he gets goalie rating five. Save any forward. Wow. I mean, we're throwing the... We're throwing the kitchen sink at him. Neil Broughton. Yeah, that's a good choice. Broughton from the inside. That's going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with it. Steve Thomas with the puck. 18-22 left in the game. We're out shooting them massively, 30-18, to but we're still down on the scoreboard, 5-4. to Going to take the intimidation chance. And Dirk Graham is going to have an inside shot on Hayward. Not good. Nine. That's going to be a save, though. Defensive center. Great pass. Prop inside on a breakaway. Five. That's going to be a save. Left wing. Dang. All right. So McKegney has it for Chicago. And Smale takes the puck away and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save defensive center. So uh, Gillis has the puck. Duchesne with an outside shot, nine. That's going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes up with it for Chicago. And Doug Wilson with the puck. Uh, Alt Dolan has the, uh, I'll give it to Dolan. And Dolan with the inside shot. Come on, man. Let's score here. Let's just score and send everybody home happy. Which we wouldn't because it would still only be tied. So Steve Larmer has the puck. And not to mention we're in Chicago. So nobody would be happy about that. Bellows with a breakaway. Nine. Goalie rating. Eight. Go! We got the game! You like that? You like that? Now do I have to keep good on my promise and take out Hayward? I mean, maybe I should. All right, let's see what we got up here. Home lines. Oh, no. Wrong team. Visitor lines, Hayward. All right, let's switch it to Casey. We got a chance to put him away right here. We got to take it. Casey got to rest for most of the game, so he should be happy. 15 minutes left. In regulation. And uh, Gagne, we'll give it to Gagne. No penalty. So Crichton has the puck. For Chicago, 14-25 left in the game. Going to hit the uh, Intimidato. And now Tenorti has possession of the puck.
And Gillis will take an outside shot, but this time it's on Casey, and he's like, whoa, there's a better goalie in the net now. We don't have Hayward to contend with anymore. Chelios can't knock him off the puck. It's Duchesne, Duchesne, and that's going to be a save right defenseman. Belfour has played horribly this game, I might add, too. I mean, it's surprising to see Belfour play this bad. Of course, you know, he's probably gassed by now. I mean, he's been playing every game so far for them. But now, I mean, you know, we're out shooting them 35-20, and we got a tie on the scoreboard, so... Bellows for the shot? Yeah, let's go with that. And that's going to be Larmer takes the puck away from him. 12-15 left in regulation. And we are going to try to intimidate, but can't. And so Ronick has an inside shot. That's going to be a save. Defensive center gets the puck. Gagne with the puck. 11.36 left. Madonna inside. Five, that's going to be a save and a right defenseman for Chicago gets the puck. And Madonna with it. Madonna inside shot again. Eight, that's a rebound. Let's see if we can pick up the rebound. Offensive right wing of a two, and that is Madonna. Goalie rating, 12. That's going to be a rebound. Let's see if we pick it up again. Defensive left defenseman if a three. Maybe he's not, but he is. So Conroy is apparently a defense three. So now he's got the puck for Chicago, and Chicago has possession. Closing in on half a period left in the game, and now at less than half a period left in the game. We are going to try to intimidate. Presley with an inside shot. That's going to be save defensive center. So our center will have the puck. And that is Broughton. Outside shot. Player penetrated. And that's going to be Ronick. Ronick with an inside shot on Casey. Six is a save defensive left defenseman. And Tenorti with the uh, puck. 850 left in a 5 5 game. There's a penalty on Chicago. Thank you, Chris Chelios. So now we got the face off and. Uh, They are shorthanded, Chicago shorthanded now. This is our chance. Jim Johnson with the puck, 8.19 left. Bellows with an outside shot. Looks like it was his only option because they did not ask me. So that's going to be a save left wing. Left wing comes away with it for Chicago. That's going to be Ronick. I mean, ever since the first, like, five minutes of the game, we're out playing them. Madonna, yeah, always, you can never go wrong giving it to Madonna. And he, I'm going to try to penetrate with him. 
and he did. Madonna was going to have an inside shot. Seven, uh, save right wing. And that gets Dirk Graham picks it up. We're out shooting them 40 to 23. But we're tied on the scoreboard at five. All right, Dave Gagne, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pass with Gagne. No, he lost the puck. Failed skate. They failed to skate with it. So, player for the shot, Bellows. Yeah, that's a good choice. I'm going to try to pass with Bellows. Let's see if he can pass it. He can inside shot for center to Gagne. Ah, Gagne knocked him off the puck, and so now Manson had it. Or, um, Manson knocked Gagne off the puck, and now he had it. So, Doug Wilson with the puck, 7-17 left. It's a 5-5 game. Failed skate, so we should take the puck away again. And uh, Mike Madano has the puck. And he is going to pass it. Got to figure it's got to work sooner or later. No, it doesn't there. So Ronick has the puck. They still have Chelios in the box, but only for 22 more seconds. And he successfully skated with it. So that's probably going to kill off the penalty. And it does, and so now we're back at even strength with 6.28 left in a 5-5 game where we're out shooting Chicago 40-23, to but tied on the scoreboard, and Madonna has an outside shot. Seven, that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes up with it, and that's Manson. Graham on a breakaway. Now let's see what happens here. That's going to be a save right defenseman. So our right defenseman comes away with the puck. Gillis with it. We are going to try to intimidate. And uh, that's going to be a penalty, though. We got a penalty. I'll give it to Glenn. So uh, face off to Casey's right, and we're shorthanded for two minutes, two of the last five minutes of the game, or of regulation. Anyway. Lose puck, so we're going to get the puck. Of course, we can't do anything with it, really. Broughton has it, so let's see what happens. Outside shot for any player, probably for them. Uh, Perry Barazan, yeah, I'll give it to Perry Barazan. I'm just going to have him shoot. Seven, that's a save left wing. So Belfour makes the save. Their left wing will have the puck. Goulet with 429 left. Yanni with an outside shot. 
And that's going to be a save left wing. And Barazan with the puck. Bar or Goulet has an inside shot. Took the puck away, has an inside shot. That's going to be a save for our center, but we don't have a center right now because we're on a on it. We're shorthanded. So Oh, okay. I guess the penalty was over. So we do have it. Brian Bellows has it with 257 left. We're out shooting them 4226 in a 5-5 game. But Ronick's all alone on top of Casey. Goalie rating six goal. Well, I got to go pull Casey now and put an extra skater out there. What a way for this to end. See, this is not what I wanted. To, I, you know, if we were going to lose, I wanted to at least lose the entire game with, uh, you know, with Hayward in that. So anyway, visitor lines. Pull the goalie, and the extra skater is going to be uh, Gagne. So we essentially have a power play since we're going to be up a man on the ice. Dolan with the puck. Two twenty two left in regulation. But there's a penalty on them, I think. Yes. So now we're really going to be up, and I'm going to keep the goalie pulled because the faceoff is in their end. Oh, no, he put him back in. I mean, I don't know if that's really a great idea, but. Um, Tenorti, I'm going to pass with him. And he lost it. We cannot be messing up like this. Murray has the puck with 217 left. Failed to skate, though. So we'll get the puck. Brian Prop, yeah, he's a good choice. Uh, Prop with an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate. And he does. Prop inside. Rebound. See if we get it. Nope. Larmer has it for Chicago. Failed skate, though. So we'll get it back again. Yeah, I'm going to go with Dolan. Yeah, he's a good choice, I suppose. I mean, the other big guns aren't getting it done, so. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he does get inside, so it's going to be Dolan with an inside shot. We tie the game! You like that? You like that? With a minute 53 left in regulation, regulado. Suffice it to say, I will not be editing this video. So let's see here. 
be great if we could put it away now with the in the last minute 36. Tenorti with the puck. Gillis with an outside shot. Save defensive center. And is that going to be a penalty? Penalty on them, right? Yes. Well, I mean, it's only five seconds, but it will carry over into the next period. Looks like Glenn has it. Um, I'm going to pass it with Glenn. Inside shot for left wing to Bellows. And he can't, so inside shot for Bellows. No. God. Are you kidding me? Oh, and they did. They pulled uh they pulled the man and now they got Hashik out there. Of course, this is a bad version of Hashik, so. Glenn has an outside shot. I'm going to try to pass it again. And now we lose the puck. And uh, we're going to overtime. 6-6 six, six, overtime period. This is the best game of the series. Been a real fun game to watch and call and make decisions in, too, let me tell you. So, Doug Wilson has the puck off the faceoff. We're out shooting Chicago 45-28. Failed to skate. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Gagne. Gagne is a good choice. I'll take Gagne with it. He's going to pass. And he loses the puck. Are you kidding? 72% passing. So Doug Wilson has the puck, minute 28 left in the penalty. I'm gonna go with Bellows, yeah, that's a great choice. Bellows, I'm gonna try to penetrate with Bellows. And he does make it inside. And Bellows with an inside shot, seven. Save defensive left defenseman. So their left defenseman has the puck. 1928 left in the first overtime period. And Madonna with an inside shot. We win! The North Stars, can you believe this? We're going. We're going to play St. Louis. This is awesome. Madonna from Gagne and Bellows. Unbelievable game. Unbelievable game. There it is. We win 7-6. to six. We outshot them 47-28. Chicago had scored three goals in the first 238 of the game with Hayward in goal for us. But it wasn't enough. First star was Madano, second star was Ronick, and the last star, the third star, was Baba Smith for us. And we will be going to St. Louis. Be on the lookout for that. But for right now, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.